you know. And we're on. And action! Hello everyone! Welcome to Cocktail and Real Estate! I'm Laborio. I'm Ernesto. And we are your dream team. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get started in a couple of minutes. Uh, we're just gonna wait a couple of minutes uh, to set up and make sure that everybody has time to log in. Um, and in the meantime, enjoy our display for our drink that we're gonna be making. We're gonna be making old fashioned today. Ooh, fancy wancy. I'm wondering if I can see the messages online. If I yeah. Do this. So we see a couple people already viewing us. So it's been a great day. Uh, it's hot up in here. Uh, oh, there we go, never mind. Okay, guys, so we're gonna have, we're gonna make an old fashioned, which is one of our favorite cocktails. Um, we're just gonna wait a little bit and have some people log in and check us out because you know we have a huge following. Uh, we also are excited because we have a special guest visiting us today. And that's exciting uh, to join us in the show. Um, so, should we get started? Sure. And I see Jeanette has already uh, logged in, so we see you. Uh, hopefully you're following along with our drink, uh, drink recipe for today. Yeah, so you can enjoy a cocktail as well. Okay. Uh, uh, let me put up the recipe real quick for our old fashioned. And look guys, we got fancy, we have um, cards now with information so that we stay on track and they have our logo on. Oh. Okay. Right, so today the cocktail is an old fashioned. It's a super simple recipe. So you just need a few ingredients. Um, you're gonna need some, some sugar, either sugar cubes or a simple syrup. Um, and you're gonna need some bitters, bitters of your choice. We have here on display uh, our peach bitter. Uh, we have a spiced cherry bitter. But today we're going to be using just a, a regular old aromatic bitters for the more classic taste. And you're also going to need some bourbon, um, ice cubes, and some uh, orange peels for garnish. And for our recipe, we're actually going to use orange peels and uh, lemon peel just to give it a little more of a um, more citrus taste. So Lavoria is grabbing some ice right now. We do recommend that you use um, chunks of ice, big chunks of ice, that way it doesn't um, get watered down uh, like you would with with smaller ice cubes. So you can use something like this. And I just want to quickly say, I, we did a test run and I got a bunch of hate up on Facebook because I use regular ice, but um, not this time. Not this time, okay. So I'm just gonna take the recipe card off so that way you can get a better, um, a better view of what we're gonna be doing. All right, so to start off, uh, if you're gonna be using regular sugar cubes or regular sugar, uh, what you wanna do is put that first in your cup Sprinkle your bitters, about two splashes, and then you're gonna use a muddler. And what you're gonna do with muddler is you're gonna muddle it, I guess, <laughs> and you're basically gonna keep working it until the sugar dissolves uh, or breaks down and you make kind of like a slurry. But because that takes too much effort, we're gonna be using simple syrup. That way you don't have to worry about all the little bits that don't get dissolved and you basically have sugar sitting on the bottom. Uh, so what we're going to do first, and Laboria is going to help me out with this, um, we're going to add the, the simple syrup. So we're going to do one, one teaspoon. Uh, I thought it was a tablespoon. Uh, anyway. Whatever you like. Add that to the cup. Ooh, can you see it? Okay. Next, you're going to add your bitters. So you're going to put, um, put in two dashes of bitters. And again, we may, we're doing this a simple way so we don't have to worry about mixing the, the um, non-diluted sugar and all that. But what you're going to do now 
is stir it, the, the mixture, the just simple the syrup, and the bitters. Ooh, a fancy spoon. Let's do it. Let's do this. And so once that's all mixed and blended, you are now going to add your ice cube. And of course, if you don't have a big chunk of ice, you can definitely use a couple of ice cubes. Again, you don't want to you don't want too uh, too much because you just don't want to uh, water down the drink. In this case, we have the ice cube, and now you're gonna pour in your two ounces of bourbon. And we have this handy dandy measuring tool on the top. Let me pour it the other way. I don't like it. <laughs> pour it. And it automatically cuts you off after the one ounce has been poured. That's one ounce? Two ounces. Perfect. And then, you're gonna give it a stir, yep. just so everything cools off. Oh, by the way, I have to use these kind of glasses that have a water um, mouth. Obviously, you put the ice if you're gonna use it. And the last couple of steps is to garnish it with your orange peels. And so the, I'll have the boy explain what he's going to be doing with the orange peels. I wish I can show you guys. Can I do it here? Oh, yeah. Mm. So you take the orange and you squeeze it so you can get some of the oils in there. And then you just rub it around. So when you uh, put your lips around it, you get some of it. Uh, we're going to do orange and we're going to do a lemon. Ooh, I be careful, I don't get this in your eyes, because, you know, I'll hurt you as well. Okay. And that's it. That's basically the steps to making an old-fashioned. Uh, so let's see how it tastes. Thank you. Oh, that's perfect. Mm, and that's it? delicious, yes. Okay, so I uh, want to go through it again, and I'll yeah. make one for me. So, um, so the way we're going to do it is uh, the boy is adding the, the simple syrup right now. And you're going to add a couple of dashes of the bitters. And if you find the drink is too strong, you can always dilute it with a little bit of water if you want. Um, or a little bit more classic syrup um, if, you're not, if you don't want it too strong. Uh, next, you're gonna add the ice. I think my ice has stuck together. Uh oh. No. Let me make it up. Okay. And next is um, the two ounces of bourbon. One ounce, two ounces, ooh. <laughs> and then the last step um, are the orange peels and lemon peels. Ooh, I felt that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and don't forget to take the lemon peel and, and, and orange peel and um, and put and run it along the, the rim so that way you get that citrusy essence of the drink. And um, if you guys can see the eyes, in order to get it clear like that, just a little tip, you boil the water. I boiled it twice so that, uh, to make sure it's clear. It looks pretty nice. Uh, can you guys, can you? I'm just gonna get to the camera to show my drink because you know, I'm pretty proud of it. Can you see the eyes? Haters, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so let me mix it. Give me the eggs. Mm. All right, let's try it. Well, I already tried mine. It was delicious. Mm. What do you think? It's perfect, actually. Um, I mean, we love cocktails, so. Yeah. Um, so anyways, thanks. Cocktails and real estate, that's the cocktail part. Now we can sip it and talk about some real estate. Um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the numbers. Ooh, numbers! Um, okay guys, so uh, while you guys are hopefully enjoying your cocktail, uh, um, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about uh, the numbers that are happening and what's on the market now on the MLS, the multiple listing services, which is what we use. Uh, the market's doing pretty good, it's seven days. Uh, we have 293 new listings uh, that's been a, that came up on the market in the last seven days. Pretty good. Uh, 110 homes went contingent the last seven days. Uh, 166 went pending, and 137 were marked closed. So 137 people are probably moving this weekend. Yeah. So congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations to those new homeowners or upgrades or whatever it is that they that they did on these last seven days. So that's pretty awesome. Um, the market's still doing pretty well. And then, if you guys are interested in the last 24 hours, uh, there is... Do you have a slide for the 24 hours? I don't know. Okay. Well, I'll just talk about that one while you guys look at that. Hold on. Mm. Okay. Last 24 hours. As of this morning, we have uh, 57 new listings that went on the market. Uh, 21 properties were marked contingent. 37 went pending. And 19 uh, uh, were marked sold. So those are 19 from the um, 137. So people are moving in to their new home uh, this weekend, hopefully. Yeah. Or starting to remodel, because a lot of people remodel when they find. But speaking of new listings last seven days, uh, if you want to talk about one of our listings, they hit the market. How exciting. Okay, guys, yeah. So we actually have a new listing uh, in Evergreen Valley. It's an awesome home. The address is 2829 Glen Decker Court in San Jose in Evergreen Valley. Look at Ernesto, he's so fancy now. Uh, it's in a cool cul-de-sac, so it's at the end of it. It's in a huge lot, almost 10,000 square foot lot. Has a pool, a hot tub. Um, you see that's it at the end. Um, it has a grass area, huge lot so you can host parties. Great area, great place to be. Um, Shelter in place, quarantine. Yeah. Three thousand square feet. That's a huge house. Yeah, the square, the living space is um, almost three thousand square foot. It's two levels. So if you don't want to see someone, you can probably avoid them for a <laughs> week, um, or you can be in the pool. <laughs> uh, it's four bedrooms. It's two full bathrooms and a half bath. Um, and let me see. It's close to shopping centers. It has an upgraded air conditioning, uh, copper pipings. Um, upgraded lighting and it's close and it's close to highway 101 and highway 680 uh, of course we're not doing open houses because of shelter in place uh, if you want to schedule a viewing of it a private showing give us a call but we're more than happy to do a private showing for you guys and it's listed at one million three hundred ninety eight 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 so that's one three nine eight 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 um, and yeah, I guess if you want to take a look at it, give us a call. Uh, or my phone number, or or, or or our phone number is 408-800-7070. Yeah. Okay, if you guys want to do a, a, a schedule a private showing, either Ernest or I will pick up. Um, and you know what's awesome too? We are so excited because we have our first guest! <laughs> um, Let me put up her information. While we get her, on, yeah, Jeanette, you online. can log in. Hopefully, um, do you want to introduce her? Oh, I think you have to wait to see it. So it's technical, so hopefully it works smoothly. So Jeanette, if you can hear me, there she is. It's oh. there. Let's go ahead and view her request. Oh, let's hope it works. Yay! <laughs> hey. Hi, Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. Did you make a cocktail? I know you're working, so. Did you make one? Oh, oh yeah. yeah! How did it turn out? Um, so I'm hella Mexican, and I prefer beer. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it's good. <laughs> But next time you go to like a fancy restaurant, whenever the shelter in place is over, 
Yeah, and I could go to the bars and be like, can I get an old fashioned? Like, I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what the cool thing about this? I'm like, you're going to have to pee so much. Cause it, and it gets you happy quickly. That's very true. I did it and I showed my mom. And my, mom's, my mom smelled it. She goes, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you and your family doing during, uh, doing their, during this uh, whole shelter in place situation? Um, I hate it. <laughs> I hate working from home. I hate, okay, I'm homeschooling, working from home and taking care of a toddler. So it's hard. Oh, yeah. Janet has two kids. Yeah. How old are they? I have a nine year old and I have an almost two year old. Yeah. Yeah. And we've met them both. They've both been to our house for dinner uh, a long time ago before shelter in place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alia loves your house. She says it's so fancy. Uh, thank you. <laughs> it's not. Thank you. <laughs> uh, well, Jeanette, thanks for joining us on uh, being our first guest here at Pop hey. as we're growing. You know, because we have a huge following, huge ratings. <laughs> huge. 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 Um, so we wanted to ask a couple questions about marketing and what's going on, and hopefully you can, you know, just uh, point us in the right direction and uh, tell us your thoughts. Did you want to... Go first. Sure. I'm ready. Um, so our first question, um, what new marketing trends have you, have you started to notice during this whole um, shelter in place and whole quarantine? So I've noticed a lot more people do videos and they do live like you guys have been doing. So that's good. Um, especially since people don't really like to read. They yeah, don't? No. <laughs> so. So uh, I think videos on social media is, all, is always great. Um, I see a lot of the realtors also post a lot of videos just kind of going over the, um, like going into the house, you know. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if you guys follow the Bonafide team, but they do an amazing job with that where they always go in and, you know, show the listing. Uh, just start copying them more because they're a very successful team. That's one thing I do recommend is follow your – your uh what what is that word competitors yes there you go <laughs> your competitors follow your competitors because i mean either you're getting ideas from other people or they're getting ideas from you um but i i follow a lot of different realtors even that aren't part of my company because i also like to see what they're doing and i kind of uh i kind of get ideas so that i can implement it with my agents at my company so it's always good to follow your competitors. <laughs> yeah. And a little bit of background. Um, Jeanette actually did some marketing for us for our house in San Francisco and also some other listings that Liboria have had. Um, so I also kind of used some of her samples uh, <laughs> when, she, when she was marketing some of the properties and kind of used it as my own. Uh, so thank you for, thank you for, for that. <laughs> hey, just of course. <laughs> Jeanette and uh, we used to work at the same company, so it wasn't always that. And then he <laughs> left us. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but you never know, I might come back. Um, well, well, I mean, now it doesn't exist. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Steve, if you're here, but CSR dead. <laughs> the, new, the new one, bigger one. <laughs> huh? The new, the new one, improved one. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're Compass. I know. A huge company. Okay, another question that we that I have is, uh, what are your th your thoughts on virtual tours? Do you think it's a good idea for, like, example, you're saying the marketers have been doing them by themselves or doing some of it by themselves? I'm sure they have professional ones. Yeah. Um, what are What are your thoughts about uh, virtual tours? Um, have you seen any uh, any responses and any suggestions you have? Um, I think virtual tours are actually a amazing idea, even before shelter in place, because you kind of filter out the buyers that aren't really going to be interested because they already kind of see, a, I guess, a more detailed, uh, what would I say, a more detailed, I guess, vision of the house. Uh, but yeah, I think they're an amazing idea. And I think that people should still incorporate it even after shelter in place is over. Because I mean, it, it, it does, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's old fashioned kidney in. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> um, I just think it, it, it doesn't make it so that so many so many buyers that are actually not going to be so interested in the house 
end up going because they already saw, you know, a good amount of detail in the house spring river trail tour, especially if they do a Matterport. Uh oh. <laughs> I hear the no, little. that's mine. <laughs> Uh, hey, here's a question. Well, before we had, we're, before we were able to do showings, uh, and you were doing transaction coordinator, were you, were you, did you do any transactions when people didn't actually view the homes, and was everything through virtual tours? Um, actually, right now that I that we're in showings here in place, I I have a lot of those. Before, no, because um, obviously they could go into the house and view it, uh, but now I have seen a lot of people who haven't really I mean they haven't seen the home at all and they're still buying because of the virtual tours but also to tie that in the Matterports I'm not sure if you guys have used the Matterport yet tell us about it so that's a complete 3d tour where you could actually click to go to the next room and it like takes you like if you're like Walking. in the house yeah so it's, it's really cool it's almost like Google Maps the yeah exactly Maps. exactly like Google Maps but for a house yeah um, I think uh, Tour Factory is doing those, right? Uh, yeah, Tour Factory. <laughs> there's a lot of different vendors. Cyrus, remember Cyrus? Oh yeah. He's I doing know. it. Yeah. That's so. good. Yeah. Um, do you have any other questions? Um, no. Oh, okay. I'll take the last question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go. <laughs> All right, let me ask our, our final question. What marketing tips do you have for sellers? Uh, choose the right realtor. And don't sell the house by yourself. Because if you choose the right realtor that knows how to market, like the Borio and Ernesto, <laughs> <laughs> then you get more bang for your buck. So yeah. that's, that's what I and, – and obviously somebody that knows how to market, and you guys actually do a really great job marketing because – uh, I see you guys' stuff all the time, and I love it, so, yeah. Nah, um, no, but, yeah, I think you're right. Even if, uh, you know, people don't, um, or they're not in our area and get to see shows like this, like, you should always go for uh, agents. Not, I'm not saying that because I'm an agent. I am, but <laughs> but it's because there's a lot of work and, um, and laws and things that you might not know uh, that are going through on the mm -hmm. So it's for your own benefit. It's money well spent. Uh, yep. Getting... And so. you get what you pay for, too. Yeah. So if you hear the we charge half a percent commission, be ready for that because yeah. be you get what you pay half, for. Half percent service. Yeah. <laughs> yep, <laughs> There's reason, exactly. There's a reason they're discounting their services. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that's my – that's my uh, – I, I recommend that everyone use a realtor and know how to choose a realtor. Uh, obviously, going through their Instagram, like Laborio and Ernesto's, you'll see that they do a really good job marketing their properties. Uh, I mean, I always I always see that they're marketing something, which is good, and you want to do that. We try. We have to stay on top of it, right, to, to do it. Um, yep. yep. So, Jeanette, uh, do you have any final words for our viewers? Um... If you need to sell a house or buy a house, or <laughs> Nesto <laughs> and Laborio. But uh, honestly, you guys are amazing. I honestly love seeing your guys' stuff all the time. And that's from the marketing point of view. So, Thank you. yeah, you guys you are amazing. Marketing too and copy some of it sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love your little comments. I know, I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> we have to learn from the past. Yeah. <laughs> Like you said, follow follow people who do it better. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I do I follow a problem. lot. So I don't mind you guys stealing my ideas, <laughs> or I could always text you more ideas. Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. But that marketing watch thing that you guys did, that's amazing. The what? The marketing watch, where oh, you put yeah. like 263 listings. Oh, yeah. Thank you, and I saw you posted something very similar too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that looks familiar. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, my the agents at my company love that, so you guys should keep posting things like that, yeah. or stealing my ideas and posting them again. <laughs> we do look at the uh, the market daily, like in the morning as we drink our coffee. That's uh, pretty much the first thing you do. That's good because you also want to have a realtor that knows their stuff. That's, it. That's part of our challenge, right? So we have to be on top of it. 
And uh, I guess that, you know, for anybody that's looking to hire, obviously, we're, we're uh, looking to be hired. <laughs> so <we're coming> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, of course. Being our first guest. And we're going to um, hopefully be able to save this video and post it. And for everybody else that didn't get a chance to see it live. Um, but thank you so much. No problem. Thank you for my great. No, you're welcome. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right. Bye, Laborio. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. So we're still live. Obviously, that was great. Thanks so much for Jeanette too, for joining us and being part of the video. Um, I don't know what else. Uh, or else do you have any other thoughts? Um, so... Oh yeah, we did want to say that um, we're going to be, of course, you can watch this video on Laborio's, uh, Laborio's Instagram page, but we're also going to be uploading this to our YouTube channel. We have a YouTube channel! Uh, so you can watch it over and over and over again. Yeah, and hopefully the more uh, we'll have more content on the channel uh, to help buyers and sellers. Um, yeah, so... If the channel is same as uh, it's Laborio Real Estate, uh, we're keeping Laborio. I know it's my name, but um, it's cute. <laughs> and next week we're gonna have another guest speaker. Oh yeah, I told you guys we we're gonna be having guest speakers. So yeah. we have a um, another guest speaker that we've worked with, with before, but we won't tell you who it is. We'll let you um, find out. Find out next week. Uh, we'll mark it a little bit, but yeah, yeah. Um, so I think that's it. Thanks, guys, for joining us uh, on another week of cocktails and real estate. Yay. Thank, thank you. you. And...